people they taught, and Janet Goodrich and Tom Quackenbush and your teacher. Ten people in a row, the first one, in this case Dr. Bates, says something to the next one, Margaret Corbett. She repeats it to the next person, and it goes down the line. You know this, right? What happens when number 10 gets the message, and you compare it to the number one? You have two very different messages. That is part of what happened to the Bates method. I've come to 